Whoa, 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 he almost got me. That's just junk I can sell. So I don't even know if that was actually worth it or not. Um, we now have a lot of ingredients to create medicines and serums. So we'll also do that. And we'll give one that we got to go back to Clay. Clay Cox for his, uh, um, for the knife and for uh, his fatigue. We also have another patient that also has fatigue. So we'll see how much of that uh, medication we can make, and we'll give it to him too. Um, we'll see how much their blood quality goes up because of that and whatnot. <laughs> uh, all right, so that was actually pretty lucrative. Um, getting in some rest so that we can evolve ourselves is not out of the question at all. Uh, let's see. Let's go this way. Nope, still no skulls. Good. Um, I think it's this way to the hospital. Oh no, this is just back out. So there's, there seem to be a lot of like interconnected ways that you can use a shortcuts to get back to the hospital quickly stuff. So that's good. I have not found that guy's friend out on the dock. Yeah, uh, we need to make that medication. I'd like to do both of those things at one time. So let's go make the medication first and then we'll talk to Cox. But yeah, if we're gonna be running in the skulls that can do what that one, like what that uh, John Doe was doing. Yeah, we need, at first I didn't think we would need to because it didn't seem like it, but beginning of the game, I should have known better. Um, but yeah, that was, that was concerning. Yeah, like John Doe is a, is concerning. Alright, let's see if we can make this medication. So, glass of vial. It looks like we have everything we need. Lots of everything we need, actually. And it takes one quinin, two sodium, two ferrous, and one vial. So we can make two. Uh, treatment for a Two, eight, and I don't have enough sodium now. Of course not. Uh, <coughs> glass vial, watery, sturdy blood sample. Regenerate 300 health points instantly. Then 150 health points over 15 seconds. So we have a potion. So let's go ahead. We can have two. So we'll make. Um, I gotta make. I gotta check how I can put it on my uh, uh, my item. My item. Clove essence. Analyze. Oh, analyze for blueprints. Ah, yep, yep, and opened up stuff. And this is for lungs. I think both of our patients just had fatigue. Um, we haven't run into a patient I think that has anything to do with uh, that has anything with lungs. And watery rich blood sample. Small dose of watery rich blood that can be used to create blood serums for vampires. Regenerate 60 blood points instantly. Okay, and we need opium and ergotamine. Ergotamine. Yeah, ergotamine. 
blood sample and I have glass vials out the wahoo. <laughs> okay, so bring medicine to Dorothy Crane in the patient's room. Okay. Uh, we will evolve before we venture back out. Um, before we venture back out into the night with all the uh, hunters and stuff, we'll evolve ourselves. Uh, the skulls are a much bigger threat than we than I originally thought. Nope, nope, there, yeah. Blood bags, blood bags everywhere. So where's Dorothy? There's Edgar Swansea. <sighs> it's it's so so tempting. So tempting. Um let's get down here and find Dorothy. <laughs> Don't seem to be anything wrong with her. And my mesmeric abilities haven't increased enough to actually get her. Yeah, that icon is just glitched into the screen now, apparently. So, let's see, where's Dorothy? Oh, she's in here. Yep. This hospital seems Finally, you've returned, Doctor. Did you find anything of value? Oh, I did. Yes, nurse. You've worked your first miracle, doctor. Now, this patient here needs immediate treatment. Duty calls? Oh, that's what that is. When the storm has passed, I'll show you how uh, to mix the remedy yourself with the, the same basic ingredients. Mouth. I don't know how Many it got thanks, over doctor. there. It just appeared. When you finished, you ought to report to Dr. Swansea in his office. He's been looking for you. Seemed pressing. Disease decreases the blood quality of a sin of a citizen used to correct medicine to heal them. Speak to the patient. It almost makes it like your seems to be like you, it almost makes it like your circumstances uh, I'm willing to give you herding cattle. Like like all these people are basically cows. It's like, oh that's a sick one, fix it and then kill it for dinner. My sweet girl. Okay. Good evening, Mr. Goswick. How are you? I'm okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, RB to check the medical status of the citizen. Healing a citizen will increase the blood quality and will reward you with XP. Oh, healing them also gives me XP. The health status of the district will also improve. Do I just... Oh, no, it just... It shows you what they have, that your cure will work, and how much of an increase in blood quality they'll get. So... London. How painful, How painful is, your is your throat, Mr. Goswick? So painful, I'd rather not talk at all, Doctor. Okay, how do I administer... RB... RT for details. How do I... Do you need any help? I'm afraid I may, sir. I don't mean to be a burden. Oh! Will you... Okay, okay, okay. So RB will let you check their medical status. RT allows you to administer cures. Okay. Yes. Give you are not a burden, sir. Healing you is my responsibility. And you have my gratitude for that. Okay. Nope. Nothing opened up. Recovering, and it look. I don't know if that's just the standard bar for XP because it makes it seem like you can raise their health even further up. But that may I have to go case. now, sir. But don't hesitate to contact me if you need any help. Good evening, sir. Doctor, anything new from you? Good evening, doctor. How is my son doing? Why would we go to? Plants. Tell me about your arrival. Tell me I've more about your arrival at the Pembroke Hospital. What gave you such a bad first impression? The ambulance driver was quite rude, for a start. And that nurse, Miss Hawkins, seems to have quite a dubious attitude. What do you mean? She managed to secure a bed for my son despite the epidemic. It was a relief. 
but it wasn't cheap. Yeah, I've already been on through this. I thought it would open up more dialogue, but goodbye, Mrs. Good. Gosway. All right. Twenty six hundred. Good evening, sir. Twenty six hundred. <laughs> Let you down, my boy. <sighs> okay. So let's go call, talk to Clay Cox. Blood Temptation. Remember, Citizens Blood will provide you a massive XP boost. Look for citizens of your mesmerized level or below and choose wisely. My mesmerized level is only How long one must still, I wait, damn it? And I haven't Blaming found me will not way further your agenda, sir. How long to increase that. And I don't know if it goes up with level. Good evening, daughter. How is my son doing? So, mesmerized. Yeah, I'm a one. She's a four. She's like, you can fuck Goodbye, right the Mrs. hell Gosling. off with that. <laughs> she's, she's like, I haven't met a vampire yet that I can snub my nose at. <laughs> I'm like, well, damn, bitch. I'm so tired of good people. Will this shift never end? Oh, talk to Edgar. He's upstairs. Alright, so we're gonna ignore that. And we're gonna go and talk to Clay. We have a knife and a cure for him. Let's see if either of those makes his attitude a little bit better. Hey, bitch. <laughs> hey, Doc. Uh, no. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll, let's see what he says about this. Hey, I have about found the gift from your wife. In that case, you'll be properly rewarded, Doc. Clay Cox is a man of his word. I hope that won't make me an accomplice to your future crimes. Who knows what I might do now I feel invincible again. Hmm. Personal questions. Nope, haven't unlocked. Investigation succeeded. So... Yeah, he's got fatigue too, so... You're lucky like to be alive, Mr. Cox. I hope you're starting to take better care of yourself. This place is full of sickness and decay. How could I get better in such a dump? Okay, now... Okay, it does come back up. It makes it seem like it doesn't. Okay, so give Consider yourself lucky. I'm treating all of my patients equally. But don't push your luck. Don't play the innocent with me. I'm sure you have good reasons to act this way. And also weaknesses that can be exploited. Well, I do, but probably not by you. Um, and I'm just interested to see 700. You're looking more and more agreeable. Hmm. I'll leave you for now, Mr. Cox. So I, I'm gonna have to find out if it is possible to increase their blood quality even further. But I bet they all have their own like soft cap or cap altogether. Um, Cause some of them just start off with like 2,500. So There's no way of just knowing if 6,000 is the highest or what. But like, uh, actually. Yeah, cause her bar is almost full and she's at 1,250. Her bar's almost full, 2400. Don't uh, worry, sir. Milton's Everything's going to be fine. 1875 now. And get Remember, he used to be a thousand, but we got we we got his wallet back, and so oh, so I think they each have their own personal cap, but it does so. But can you fill that bar all the way up? Is the real question, you know? Can you stop that? Um, skulls don't actually look any different in our vampire site. It would have been ni a nice touch if they'd have made skulls look different. Um, and I don't know if vampires... Please, Jonathan, come in! Fascinating, is it not? In the last decade, so many mysteries have been brought to light with our microscopes. The human body 
Biology's penultimate frontier. The more we explore its boundaries, the less we're able to trace a clear line between life and death. Is this going to turn into a lecture? Because I didn't cover it. <laughs> you, my friend, have a foot in both countries. The view must be vertiginous. It's at least as vertiginous as chatting about vampires with you, I would say. Mm. I'm going to have to look This up must that be also new to you. <laughs> this area of town, the hospital, a brand new life. How stimulating it must be. I wish I could share your enthusiasm, Dr. Swansea, right. but my condition defies scientific categorization. Undead? Unalive? Immortality defies logic. I cannot express my thrill at this serendipitous really? turn of events. The world's most eminent specialist in blood transfusions, a vampire. One might say a gift from heaven. I'm happy you're happy about it. You know what happened when I woke up as such a spectacular specimen of just supernatural uh, ingenuity? I ate my sister. Yeah, from that point of view, doesn't seem so good, does it? <laughs> uh, <laughs> and it's like... <laughs> Don't you hate it when you're like, don't you hate it when you're in a, when you're just in a bad mood and it's over something that that has actually emotionally hurt or scarred you, and then someone else is like, you're so lucky for do 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 do, and you're like, oh yeah, you know how I got there? Cause this, <laughs> thanks for telling me how great it is. Yeah, yeah. fucking dick. <laughs> no, they don't. So, we're not picking that because his words don't bring comfort. Like, the first thing we did was kill our own sister. Um, not that it would have been better if it had been somebody else's sister, but... That is not a good way to start. That is... <laughs> that's not how you start out your day. It just isn't. Um, living paradox. This is no gift. Um, we'll go with I'm a living paradox. There is an absurd poetry to my situation. Physician, heal thyself. Forgive me. I've been an admirer of your work for a long time, and now you are so much more than a brilliant physician. And please, call me Edgar. I feel like Swansea... <laughs> I feel like Swansea... His enthusiasm makes me think that if I asked, he'd just give me, he'd just blow me right now. <laughs> it's, it's like, he's just like, just a schoolgirl about this entire situation, right? Um, I don't know if we need each other, but then again, maybe we do because I need the information that he may be able to give me. Because the vampire chick that we met was completely no help like just random newborn vampire running around no other vampire you know proper vampire in sight that she knew of that was keeping an eye on like you think for a species that is keeping themselves a secret you wouldn't just let newborn vampires run around and then when you find one and it's not a hostile one maybe you explain a few things make sure that they're just not out in the public doing random stuff, accidentally killing people. No, just leave them there. They'll they'll figure it out. Like, all right. <laughs> so, eh, this is not amusing. Thank you, but I'd rather you didn't speak so lightly about my condition. There is nothing I find amusing about this situation. Yeah. Very well. I have a task for you, Jonathan. Really? Something that will require all your newfound skills. Please, go on. The Pembroke only survives through the generosity of our benefactors. Unfortunately, our main donor has found herself in a bit of a bind. Now, if you could help her out... A spokesman or politician is what you need. That's not my calling. And until I come to understand what has happened to me, I require discretion. Discretion is in order, Jonathan. Lady Ashbury has recently received rather indelicate correspondence that, if revealed, would jeopardize her position. And you would like me to eradicate this threat? By the stole, of course not. I would just like you to pay her a visit. 
Her ladyship is certainly near the tents outside, tending the sick. You can't miss her. Look for someone impossibly delicate. Mm. Accepted. I'll see what kind of trouble Lady Ashbury is in. My prediction is that Lady Ashbury is the vampire chick we ran into. That's who I'm assuming it is. Um, I mean, there's no evidence of that whatsoever, but it's kind of what I'm assuming. And if I'm not mistaken, in the Twitch feed, they did this quest, and it said Lady Ashbury was also a vampire. Doesn't mean it's the one, the the woman we ran into, but I get the feeling it is. They have discussed on every street. I heard someone talking. I was wondering what they were talking about. Do, 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 do. Following the red Y. Nope. Yep. The flu took my dear wife, Emily. I take comfort knowing we'll soon be together again. Mr. Rainfields, that's no way to talk. You're in good hands here, and we'll be up again soon enough. <laughs> now do me a kindness and get some sleep. I'll be back round later. Your words are kind, the blessings of an angel. You're the sweet, sweet lady of mercy. Mm. Good evening, Dr. Reed. It's a pleasure to see you again. You seem surprised. Dr. Swansea has brought me up to speed concerning your recent appointment to Pembroke Hospital. You're a vamp. The lady who saved me that night, before vanishing into thin air. I remember you from the pub with Dr. Swansea. Indeed. Allow me to introduce myself formally this time. My name is Lady Ashbury. I remember you well, in spite of the brevity of our encounter. Do you not have a first and or last name? Because I don't, because I assume Ashbury is a last name. And usually when you introduce yourself, you give both, but okay. <laughs> I feel played, I'm glad to see, well, I'm, I don't know why I would be glad to see you. Um, I don't know why I would feel played. Um, like, we assumed that Swansea had something to do with this lady because she's the one we saw in her room. So I don't feel like, I don't know why I would feel played, really. Um, Swansea fancy vampire. Really so it seems our Dr. Swansea does indeed have a fascination for creatures of our constitution. Dr. Swansea is a remarkable man. Dedicated, one might say, obstinate? He spent years compiling our bestiary. I hope you're more disposed to answer my questions now. You must have countless questions, but our rather urgent matter first. Of Swansea has explained. My cover, if you prefer, has been compromised. Have any of the patients given you trouble? These poor souls have so little left to live for. I do my best to ease their pain. And by that I mean I feed on them when I know that they're beyond being when they're beyond being saved. It is a quaint arrangement. I don't know why I should believe or disbelieve. I feel like I should be neutral. I feel like I want a, I want a neutral answer to that. Um, and let's be a little bit of a dick. I gather you have found an arrangement satisfying both when it comes to ethical women, and corporal <laughs> concerns. I was brought up not to snigger at my own jokes, Dr. Reed. Hmm. Okay, I'm here Dr. Now. Swansea has commissioned me to be your agent in this matter. You could start by explaining what's amiss. These past insufferable weeks, I've been the victim of extortion. 
I've made a first payment, but the blackmailer grows greedy. I must refuse his most recent demands. If we're dealing with an ordinary criminal, surely you've the means to deal with it yourself, if I may. As immortal tradition doth dictate, all fangs and hypnotic eyes ablaze. The blood would run like a river. That's what I hope to avoid. Violence has a tendency to spiral out of control. Well, you're not wrong. <laughs> you're, not, you're not wrong. Uh, what do you want? What are your expectations? Please be precise. As the newly appointed surgeon of this hospital, you are in an excellent position to ask innocent questions and deftly learn the identity of my blackmailer. Yeah, we'll ask. Who would be so foolish as to threaten you? A kindred spirit. Even if it were the case, and I highly doubt it, a vampire would have asked for something more valuable than money. My suspicions lean toward a patient or their family. Hmm. So she hasn't actually... She's only been in contact with people through the letter. Please continue. Every detail is essential. Which I guess makes sense. I'm your man. But even, even my embarrassment in this matter is eclipsed only by my shame like at having the put the hospital at risk. So. The threat from our anonymous scoundrel is clear. A list of dates. My visits coinciding with the dates of suspicious patient deaths due to massive blood loss. Is it true? Is it true? Now aren't you the blunt one? Yes, I am. Uh, it's only logical or I need information. I mean, I need blood too is kind of a given. <laughs> um, eh, it's only logical. We both are afflicted with a thirst for blood, Lady Ashbury. That is our nature. By vocation, we also have reason to visit the hospital. Logic dictates. In all honesty, I'm not simply a patron to the hospital. My visits serve a dual purpose. Dr. Swansea has been treating my condition with a revolutionary technique of blood transfusion. It seems you are a specialist in the domain. How does that work? I'll take care of it. Do you know where I should start? If that was the case, I'd settle the matter myself. You could talk to our local gossip, Harriet Jones. Not a pin drops here without her hearing about it. I'll meet that woman now. My life, as others know, is in your hands, Dr. Reed. I'm sure of your discretion, but I do fear your powers of persuasion will be put to the test. When this is resolved, I'll be your obligé. I'll answer all questions in regards of your condition finally we would get <laughs> we, we may get answers or the or the game may pull the we finish this quest we're going back to answer we're going back for answers lady ashbury has been called to vampire council and is no longer available to answer those questions or she's been killed by the vampire hunters or or they could elongate the entire matter and get her and she's captured and you have to go running after her <sighs> we can hope that is not the case and we'll actually get some answers to what's going on okay so she is I assume that's who we need to talk to because she's not shown up before. Wait, 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 there's somebody else. Sean Hampton. Who are you? Are you the guy that broke his arm? Oh, oh, Sean Hampton. Right, right, right. right. I forgot about the. I forgot about him. Okay, so she's another patient. So, alright, well, let's go ahead and we'll talk to. Yeah, let's go ahead and talk to her, and then we'll... That should put what? us on our way, What? And we'll go what and is this? Uh, Who are you? Get out of my room! There's no need for alarm, madam. I'm Dr. Reed, 
the new surgeon. Preposterous. Dr. Reed, you say? I don't want some bumbling intern. 